Pastor Steve. Welcome to Victory Harbor. We're so glad you guys are in service with us today. Let's lift up the Lord. He alone is worthy. Today's sermon nugget is just one touch. As I sit beside the roadside, my nostrils are filled with the dust of countless ages past. I sit here and feel self-pity and I'm all alone and I begin to contemplate my prison. My prison is not one that locks me in, but it's one that locks me out. My prison does not consist of metal bars, but darkness, darkness, and more darkness. The blind man, 33 A.D. Let's go to the text today. This is from Luke chapter 18. We're going to read a little bit more than we normally do. Verses 35 through 42. When Jesus was coming close to Jericho, a blind man sat begging beside the road. The man heard the crowd walking by and asked, What was happening? Some people told him that Jesus from Nazareth was passing by. So the blind man shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people who were going along with Jesus told the man to be quiet. But he shouted even louder, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and told some of the people to bring the blind man over to him. When the blind man was getting near, Jesus asked, What do you want me to do for you? Lord, I want to see, he answered. Jesus replied, Look and you will see. Your eyes are healed because of your faith. Right away the man could see and he went away with Jesus and started thanking God. When this crowd saw this, they praised God. Just one touch changed Bartimaeus' life. Just one touch from Jesus changed everything about him. He was blind, he couldn't see. Somebody had to lead him. He couldn't hold a job. He was a beggar. But one touch from Jesus changed all that. He was no longer blind. He could see. Nobody had to lead him anymore. He could go his own way. And no longer did he have to be a beggar. He could look into the face of a newborn baby and see it smile. He could see the birds, the flowers, everything beautiful. One touch from Jesus changed everything about that man. It's amazing what one touch can do. In the city of Jerusalem, there's a man sitting beside the pool. He's been there 38 years. He's sick. He can't get up. He can't move. He can't walk. At this pool, at certain times of the year, the angel of the Lord comes and stirs the water. The first one in after the water has been stirred is healed. But for 38 years, he sat there and has never been the first one in the water. Can you imagine how he feels? Somebody had to carry him there. He too is a beggar. I'm sure he's depressed. But Jesus come by and said, Would you be healed? The man said, I have nobody to put me in the water. Jesus said, Pick up your bed and go. I have healed you. One touch from Jesus changed that man's life. He jumped up, leaping, shouting, praising God. No longer was he an invalid. No longer did somebody have to carry him. But he could walk on his own feet and he praised the Lord. One touch from Jesus can change everything. There's a story.
story of a woman in the Bible. She's been over. She can't straighten up. She's been that way for 12 years. People laugh at her and make fun or have pity on her when they see her walking down the street. But one touch of Jesus changed all of her life. She could stand up erect. She could walk. She could even have pride in herself. One touch from Jesus will change everything in your life. Jesus was up on the mountain teaching and preaching. He come down off the mountain and an undesirable stood before him. Somebody worth nothing. It was a leper. This leper had a death sentence on him. He knew what look was ahead for him. First, his fingers would fall off, his nose would fall off, and eventually death. But even worse than that, he was isolated. He couldn't hold his wife or his children. He couldn't even see them. He couldn't go to church. He couldn't go to the market. He couldn't work. He had to live in a leper colony. It was an isolated life. Hoping and praying that somebody would throw some food over the edge. He was desperate. <laughs> and he said, Lord, if you will heal me, you can. Jesus said, I will. What touch from Jesus changed that man's life? Can you see him? He's running home as hard as he can go. He grabs his wife and holds her. He grabs his children. One touch from Jesus. Just one touch changed his very life. We're back in Jerusalem. There's a mob, a crowd of people coming down the street. It's a mob. They're very loud. And in front of this mob is a woman. She's half clothed. And they're shoving her and she falls down. She gets up and she tries to walk and they shove her again. Can you see the fear in her eyes? But more important than that, can you see the shame? She's been caught in the act of adultery. And they come into the courtyard where Jesus is and they shove her at His feet. I imagine she's saying, I couldn't even lift up her eyes to Jesus. But she's hanging her head down in shame, pain, and hurt, and embarrassment. And they say, Moses' law says this woman should be stoned. What do you say? Jesus knelt down and he began to ride in the ground. He got up and he spoke to him and he said, You that are without sin cast the first stone. He knelt back down and he began to ride in the sand again. The Holy Spirit convicted every one of them from the oldest to the least. And they turned around and left. Jesus got up and looked at that woman and he said, Where are your accusers? She looked around and she said, Lord, I have none. He said, Neither do I accuse you. Go your way and sin no more. Can you imagine that change in her life? What one touch of Jesus done for her? It's amazing what a touch from Jesus will do. It'll turn you from a sinner to somebody that's living for God. It'll change somebody that's broken to somebody that's all together. Somebody that's cold and indifferent to somebody that's on fire for God. It will change your whole life. As I wander in darkness among the dead, all I hear are these voices in my head. My life is like midnight. There's no light anywhere. I cry out for mercy, but nobody hears my voice. I have chains wrapped around me. Chains of agony, chains of pain. Oh God, please deliver me. 
please set me free. The demon possessed in the tombs, 33 AD. Jesus come up to where the tombs were. This man was in here foaming at his mouth, out of his mind, naked, mad, screaming, taking stones and cutting his body. But that one touch from Jesus changed every bit of that. When Jesus touched him, he was in his right mind. They clothed him. The chains were gone. And all he wanted to do was follow Jesus. One touch from Jesus will change everything in your life. I remember I had a heart of stone. I didn't know how to love people. I cared about myself. Didn't care about anybody else. What I wanted to do is what I done. One day, Jesus touched me. He broke those chains of sin that were around me. One touch from Jesus set me free. How about you today? Are you chained? Are you bound? Are you in pain and hurt? Maybe you're lonely? Maybe helpless and hopeless. One touch from Jesus can change your life. Let us pray. Father, we love you and adore you and thank you, God. You're awesome. I ask you, Lord, to break every chain of sin that's wrapped around all the people today. That you would set them free, that you would touch them, God. And let them see, God, the price you paid on Calvary. You paid the price for their salvation with your precious blood. Let them see that whipping post, Lord, where they beat you unmercifully for our healing. God, we praise you and thank you for being our very best friend, Lord. Glory into your holy name. Amen. Just one touch can change your very life.